Hi, it's Liam from Wowza. Congratulations on getting yourself a boombox. Uh, today I'm just going to give you some quick tips on how to get the best sound quality and how to make the boombox last as long as possible. So um, inside the box, you get your boombox itself, you get the USB charging cable and you get some replacement sticky pads. Now the USB charging cable, on the front of the boombox here next to the on off button, you've got a jack there. So you just plug that end of the USB charging cable into the jack like so to charge it up. And the other end, of course, goes either into like a, a phone adapter plug there or um, into a laptop. Or you can also run it off a, uh, a recharge it off a portable charger or a power bank like we're doing here. It just plugs in like so. Helps if you put it the right way around. Uh, like so. So that's how you charge it up. Um, it takes about four hours to charge it. It has about a six hour playback time um, once you charge it, depending on how loud you're listening to the music. Now to this bit, the headphone jack is just here, so it just unwinds like so, and that will plug into your iPhone, iPod, uh, whatever music device you're currently using. And the speaker attachment is this bit on the end, and it just unwinds like so. Now when you unwind it, a really common mistake that we get is there's actually a plastic clear film over the top of the, the pad there. You need to peel that away like so to reveal the sticky part, otherwise it's not going to, to probably stick to the object and you, you won't get a uh, decent sound out of it. Now I'm just going to play some music here for you. So it's really important that when you use the boombox that you, oh, and uh, it really does help to turn it on as well. There we go. So, um, when you use the boombox, you want to make sure that you stick it on and push down and then release it, take your hand away. So if I was to just sit that on top, it won't give great sound quality because it bounces on top of the object. So you actually want to push that down and you'll get much better sound out of it that way. Also, you don't want to hold your finger on it because that's going to stop it from vibrating. So the whole way that the boombox works is it sends the vibrations into the object and turn the object into a speaker. So you want to make sure it can actually do that. Um, and the types of objects you're going to get the best sound quality out of, you want things that are thin enough to vibrate. That's the golden rule. Um, so things that work really well is like cardboard, rigid cardboard like pizza boxes, shoe boxes, post boxes, um, woodworks like thin walls, like uh, you know like hotel walls or interior walls, inside walls. They work really well. Um, but obviously, like an outside brick wall is not going to work because it, it can't vibrate. Um, coffee cups, uh, plastic work can work really well, aluminium, so like a garage door or, or something like that, a surfboard or a boogie board can work quite well, fiberglass, um, of course the styrofoam, styrofoam eskies, they work particularly well, as you would know from some of our other videos. Um, and yeah, you can just play around with, with lots of different things and experiment, stick it on the outside of the car. Uh, we have one guy who was a, a professor of music and pop culture or something like that at the at QUT up in Brisbane. He emailed us in once to tell us he'd stuck it on the front of a uh, Coke vending machine, you know, the, the concave, the curved one at the front there. And he said the sound was awesome. So, you know, you can get really creative, try it out on lots of, on lots of different stuff. Now, when you're finished, you just, um, the headphone jack goes back in there like so. Obviously, make sure you turn it off to conserve the battery. And to wind it up, it's really, really simple. You just hold this bit here. This is actually the easiest way to do it. And you just wind that end, the bigger end like so, and it winds up on itself. Now you don't want to wind it in two different directions. Just keep going in the same direction. Otherwise it might get tangled inside and it becomes harder to get undone. And it's back in your bag, ready to go again for next time. And I've just realized the one thing I do want to show you as well, which is very unique to the Boombox 3, um, is that you can actually link multiple together. So I'm just going to unwind that again. We'll plug it back in and I will grab another Boombox here. So if, you know, if your friends have got one or if you get a couple of them, you can actually plug one into the other one, like so, and you can get much louder sounds by doing it this way. So that one just goes into the on-off port of the other one, like so. So if we pop that on there, for example, and then we pop the other one on there. So you can have a proper party. Um, you link as many together as you like. I've only done two here today. You can have three or four or five or as many as you've got there. Um, and now the other thing I'm going to show you quickly is how to keep your sticky pad clean. I'm just going to have someone pass me the cloth over there. <laughs> we'll just, we're going to come right back. Hold on there a second. Okay, so you're going to get the best sound quality out of the boombox if the sticky pad here um, is nice and clean and stays sticky because like I said before, it works on stickiness. So if it, if it can't stick to anything, you're not going to get a great sound out of it. And when you're sticking it to things, it picks up the dust and dirt. So that does pr um, make it lose part of its stickiness. The good news is that it's very, very easy to clean it and get its stickiness back. 
The best way to clean it is just to get a damp dishcloth and wipe it over like so. That'll wipe the, du um, the dust and dirt off, but also it's made of a special material um, that when you wet it, it actually gets like, makes it sticky again. It's kind of like those old lint rollers you might have seen back in the old days, you put them under the tap and they get sticky again. Um, so that will do it. If you don't have a damp cloth handy, you can also use something like sellotape and you just use the sticky part of the sellotape there, a sticky tape, and that will peel away the dust and dirt um, off there and that'll help it get its stickiness back. Now, eventually you will need to replace the sticky pads. You've got some replacement ones in the box. You can also buy more on our website, wowza.com.au. Um, to replace them, you wanna get your fingernail underneath the sticky pad and you'll notice when you do it, the top part of the sticky pad is a bit spongy. As you peel it away though, you'll see that there's a, a firmer sort of like, the bottom bit is like a more rigid material. You wanna get your fingernail under the rigid bit and just hold the bit that it's stuck to down with your other finger and peel it away so it peels the whole thing off, including the rigid bit. And you should just be left with the plastic surface there. And then with the replacement sticky pad, you will notice that one side has a white uh, matte coating, and I think it actually says 3M on the back there, and the other side has a clear plastic coating. It's the white matte coating that goes down onto the, the head of the boom box. So you just peel the white bit away, like so, and you stick that down onto the head of the boom box with the clear plastic bit facing out. And then when you're ready to use it again, you just peel the plastic bit away um, and you're ready to go. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about your boom box. If you do have any questions or if there's anything we've missed at all, um, as always, please just get in touch. You can tweet us, send us a message on Facebook, via email, whatever you like, uh, and we'll always get back to you. Thank you very much. Wowza!